Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review of Black Cane Point by Claire McFall, which I probably all said wrong and I'm very sorry about that. So I was sent this book in exchange for a honest review from Hotkey Books, so thank you very much Hotkey Books for sending this my way. And here is my review. So let's get into what this book is actually about. This book follows the main character Heather, who decides to go on a camping trip with some of her friends. Her main reason though for going is Dougie, who Heather has a crush on and she's hoping that this camping trip will bring them closer together. It's also Dougie's birthday birthday camping trip. However, when they get there, they come across this pagan burial site and they take something from there. Heather becomes certain that they've awoken this really evil spirit who wants revenge for taking the thing that they took. And stuff starts to go bad, friends start to go missing, weird stuff starts happening, and overall it isn't a fun time. This is not a camping trip I would recommend going on. And it's one year later now and Heather knows that she's lucky that she survived this camping trip. You see there are only two survivors, her and Dougie. However, Dougie's in a coma currently and no one believes Heather's story about what really happened at the camping trip. They all believed that Heather killed them all and so Heather is waiting for Dougie to wake up and to tell everybody the truth and if he doesn't how will she prove her sanity and her innocence? So that is the plot of this book. I'm not going to get into anything else because I don't want to get into spoilers so let's talk about what I thought about this book. This book is told in two kind of ways. The first part is now when it's currently present day and Heather is talking to her psychologist, counsellor, I'm not really sure who he is necessarily. She's trying to explain that she's innocent, that she didn't do it and everything and what she's struggling with now on trying to prove her innocence and trying to wait for Dougie to wake up hopefully from his coma. And then it's past where it's a camping trip and what happened in the camping trip. This was done really well, there was never ever confusion if I was reading present or past it was really obvious and yeah I just really liked how it was done this way and I think it really gave something to the story you're doing then and now. This book also had a plot twist which I was not expecting. Not in a million years. I had a slight hint toward it but still I wasn't close enough to guess the actual plot twist and it kind of blew my mind when I got to the end of the book and I was like wow wow okay then. Obviously I'm not going to get into what the plot twist was but yeah I just didn't see it coming and I really enjoyed that about this book. It made it even more creepier. Obviously this book by the way is a horror book if you didn't catch on. I didn't realise I was enjoying this book as much as I was until I realised that I picked this book up and then I realised that I had one chapter to go. I read this book in one sitting at again like three o'clock in the morning. I just flew through this book. I was loving it. I couldn't put it down. I just needed to know what was going to happen next without even knowing that I needed to know. I really enjoyed the characters in this book. There's not too much character development. However, I don't think it's really a story where too much character development can take place. This book messes with your mind and at the end of the book you're wondering like what was true? If it was anything was true at all? It's just it's so good in the way it does that and I don't want to like I want to say things but I don't because I don't want to spoil it so I'm not going to but I really liked how this book did it and handled it of the whole unknowingness. I really like the story of this book and whilst I wasn't really necessarily scared it was definitely a book where I just I needed to know what was going to happen next. Though I did go out and read the last couple of chapters in bed with my boyfriend so maybe I was a little bit scared about wanting to admit it to myself. I'm a pretty tough cookie. I didn't expect to enjoy this book as much as I did but I really enjoyed it and I think I'm gonna rate it a four out of five stars. For a horror book I felt like this book did it really well and I really enjoyed my time reading it. It was fun, it was fast and as I said I didn't put it down once so that's generally a sign when I'm enjoying a book. So let me know in the comments below if you plan to read this book or if you have read it and what you thought of it. And like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos from me and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!